Hi ladies, welcome back. I'm Coach Kara. And today this is a topic for all my ladies out there. Today we are talking about how to become a phenomenal woman. And so, yeah. So the reason why I chose this topic is because uh, everyone's trying to be a boss chick and trying to be, you know, the lady um, that makes all the bread, the income, whatever, gets the bag. But today I just want to talk more on just about being successful towards, you know, self-evolution, uh, evolving into the better version of womanhood and, and what that looks like. Not only just for yourself, because that's who we're really doing it for. However, we want to look at it also for our partners or potential partners to come all right so firstly i want to talk about how to become a phenomenal woman and why it is of great importance in this lifetime okay your life your lifestyle should be one of the best now unless of course you're looking for a very mediocre mundane um type of life, nothing going on. You're not trying to evolve and become the greatest version of yourself. You probably shouldn't watch this video, okay? But no, we're talking about becoming a phenomenal woman and how that benefits you, okay? So when you, it's a mindset thing, firstly. When you decide to become a phenomenal woman, what that entails is becoming the highest level of yourself that you can possibly become over time. It is not something that happens overnight, okay? So you really want to decide if this is a transition that you want to make, not to become, you know, an alpha male. We're not talking about being a boss. No, we're talking about embracing femininity and exploring who we are coming out of insecurity and becoming a an interdependent and self-reliant individual who knows how to self-express okay so how do we get to that place how do we become this magnificent phenomenal being firstly you have to decide especially if you have traumas major disappointments, deep hurts, you're wounded. We all have wounds, you know, battle wounds from this life, either from love or just life, whatever. You have to but you have to go and deep process. with this. And, and when you do this, and it's going to take some time because you have to build. Strength and character is built over a period of time. It's not built in a matter of weeks or months. So it's going to take, it's a process, okay? It's a process to want to be that way. All right? It's, it's a matter of saying, hey, I want to become the greatest version of myself. I want to be phenomenal in all aspects. And why do I want to be that way? Well, I just always want to be the, I want to try to be the best. Not try to be perfect, but what's the point in ever doing something in life if you're not trying to be the best at it or trying to, to excel in that area. So you really want to do that deep introspection, do that healing process, talk to someone, you know, to, to get it all out, to express what it is you're feeling so that you can, okay, once you've done this whole deep introspection, you can say, okay, now I am at a place to where I am willing to put myself out there. All right, so now, now that you're trying to put yourself out there, what does that mean? This means doing things beyond your safety lines. You know, you're coming out of that insecurity. You're trying to grow into something else. This means doing things that you always been afraid to do. Make an attempt at doing it. Yeah, you may need a little boost, a little motivation. You may want to talk to somebody. How do I do this? Um, not the easiest way. Everything in life, it takes work. It takes, you know, some effort. It takes some, some training. 
to gain that necessary skill. So whatever it is that you want to achieve, if you want to, you know, get a certification or a degree, you do that. If you want to learn how to horseback ride, you do that. You learn how to be the best horseback rider. See, we're trying to become the highest level of ourself over time, right? And when you learn to just explore different aspects of life, meaning learning things that you never thought that you would learn. I'm the type of individual, personally, I like to learn every single day, okay? I said it once, I said it, I'll say it again. I'm a bit of a, a dweeb, a, girl, a geek, a nerd, whatever you wanna call it. I'm that type of person, I love learning, disseminating information. I still go to the library. I check out books because the knowledge in this life is so vast that most humans will only retain this amount, okay? When there's so much out there to explore and to learn, okay? Why wouldn't you want to? So that when you meet someone, a cutie, you can talk about these things. You can be interesting. Now, if you're okay with being the type of person, you just like to stick with one topic, you're not interested in anything, you're learning any extra, again, this is not for you. This is for those who are trying to be a phenomenal woman. When you learn different things just because, hey, I think I can do that, or I'm afraid to do that, so I'm going to try it anyway. You understand what I'm saying? You want to be able to do different things just to Many impress times. yourself. Many times. Put yourself I put myself to the test. My mom always asks, and why don't you just have one of the delivery guys to put it together for you, pay them extra six? I don't want to pay an extra six bucks when I can go and put the desk together myself in under 15 minutes on the first time. Okay? Putting together chairs, doing things on my own. I remember one time in my past relationship, uh, which was 15 plus years, was with my best friend. We just decided to go our ways. We we grew out of each other, we got tired of playing, you know, whatever. But um, one time he put me to the test, right? And this is uh, in my growing days, I was just beginning to learn who I was. Still had some insecurities, but at the same time, I've always had that mindset. So whatever it is I do in life, I want to be the best at it. I want to be the best girlfriend, okay? I want to make sure that next person has mad competition. I'm that type of person. I'm secretly competitive. I'm competitive with myself. So one day he asked, say, hey, Kara, I want you to try to line me up because, you know, he wasn't due to go to the barbershop until the next week. You know, this was like an in-between type thing. He likes to say fresh as I like, you know. And that right there, to put me on the spot, to line him up, something of which I had never done before, maybe to myself, just like, you know, in the back or whatever, but, you know, to someone else, especially someone who is a type of person who seeks a bit of perfection. You F up, you got one time, you know, it's kind of like, right. But I could have gone within the walls of my insecurity and doubted myself and said, Oh, um, well, why don't you go down the hall or go down a couple blocks or whatever and let so-and-so. I could have done all of that. I could have came up with a million excuses, but I wanted to test myself. I said, okay, we'll get the clippers. Let's go. Let me try to line you up. Now, now granted, I'm a bit artistic and I, you know, I used to do hair back in the day or whatever. So I guess maybe that's why he trusted me. And so I had to go build myself up and trust myself. Took my time, lined him up, followed his instructions, do the back, do the sides, and how he wanted me to do the front. I listened to that, just followed directions. Minutes later, he was impressed, quite impressed. So much so he took me 10 bucks and told me he'll see me in a few days. So, and I began to do that on a regular basis to the point to where I became very good at it. And then he eventually had me start cutting his hair. I became good at that. So my point is, is never doubt yourself, never self guess, second guess yourself. I did that. 
And because I put myself out there on the front, I just made it harder for that next person he's going to be with. Will she say yes? Will she be able to do that? You understand what I'm saying? We're trying to be phenomenal. So you can, you know, you cannot have that competition. You always want to excel. There's another time I put myself to the test where I say I wanted to make homemade biscuits. Now I'm the type of person I like to make pretty much everything from scratch. Pastas, whatever it is, mashed potatoes, everything has to be from scratch. That's the way I want it. Okay? Furthermore, when you feed your guy, he's going to always want that authenticity. He's going to always seek that when he goes to the next situation. You understand? So again, there's that competition. Life is a competition from the day you come into this world. So this is why you have to always challenge yourself so that you become that phenomenal being. And so one day I decided I wanted to make homemade biscuits. If anyone has ever tried that, just it is hard as hell. And they say it takes many times to get it perfect. It took me eight attempts on eight different occasions. Okay, it was a lot of throwing out. Some were eaten some of the times as I got better. But on the very last attempt, they were all gone that same night. So not by me, but yes. So you see what I'm saying? I challenged myself. If you're not good at cooking, well then try baking. Try one particular recipe or a friend, you know, she she never learned how to cook eggs. So, oh, come on. Lady, you're like 40 years old. You're still putting your eggs in the microwave. <laughs> Versus putting a pan on the stove putting it on very low, adding the butter, and then just being patient with it, and then just learning over time. But she wasn't willing to put herself out there. She wasn't willing to try harder. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? And, and for me, that's just, uh, yeah. I'm trying to be the best. Look, I'm trying to be the best at everything in every aspect of life. Not to be perfect, okay? But I want to excel, ex achieve so when it's done or it's asked to me, it's effortlessly. And I am, if, if anyone knows me, I am very skilled at a lot of things that just come kind of comes naturally. And it seems challenging for other people, but for me, it's naturally. Well, that's just who I am. That just, I think it's actually part of my nature. So there is some, some benefit there. But you always want to challenge yourself. You always want to impress. Now let's get to the good part. So ladies, when it comes to relationships, dating, that sort of thing, and you're trying to get with a man, one thing about men, and I know this for certain, is they like to be impressed. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about your hair and all that makeup. and I, I'm talking about impressing him other ways. Not sexually. Of course, that's one main ingredient, but that's not going to be enough to keep him. I promise you. <laughs> no, it, it isn't. When you can impress a guy with different topics of conversation and things that you're skilled in and you're good at and you can talk about different things or you could be a certain way and um, you've mastered having a really good attitude. Men are big on being impressed by a woman's attitude. How do I know this? Because majority of my friends in this lifetime have all been males, all men. Maybe four or five really close girlfriends. Uh, three maybe were associates, but two were like my besties. Other than that, all men. Today, my best friend is a guy. And why is that? Men are big Again, they're big on being impressed. I don't know if you know how to change a tire or whatever it is. If you can continuously impress a guy by what it is you're saying or you're doing like effortlessly, this is what keeps him hooked. And you're like really good at it. See, men are, I don't know, I guess they are attracted to me because I know how to talk to them. You have to be gentle feminine you know charismatic of course have some some something about you that makes a guy just say hey 
Kira, man, you cool as hell. I've been hearing that all my life. Like, guys, Kira, you're cool. Yo, like, I could literally hang out with you all day. And most of them do. We hang out for hours. See, a guy wants to know that you have the right attitude towards life. You're not insecure. You're not stuck on yourself, you know, conceited. You're not trying to be all high and mighty. No, that is not what matters to a guy. What matters to him is that he can actually walk into your house and see how amazingly immaculate it is. It's clean. Despite the fact that his bedroom might be a hot mess, don't matter. When he comes into your place, it better be spotless. When he sits down to the table, that food better taste five star. You should have your appearance always intact. And I know it should go without saying, but I have to say this, you know, do facial scrubs, do cleansings, do everything you can to keep yourself looking good from the outside. He needs to see that. He needs to be impressed by this on a very, 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 very regular basis. Okay. Yes, whatever is attracting him to you, that needs to maintain because the moment you stop is when he loses focus and he focuses on something else. At the same time, but when he sees that you're phenomenal, men don't really care about you making money and all that shit. That's great. You're, you're independent. You, you're getting a bag. You're doing your own thing. But what they really want to know is more about your persona, your character. Who are you? Okay? Like a lot of guys, they don't know that I, I do... Sky watches. I watch the night. I have very expensive binoculars where I can watch the constellations and, you know, just things like that. They're impressed by that. Like, whoa, you so different. I know. I'm different in many ways. <laughs> Some of the things I can tell you, like, oh, wow, you really take. Yes, I am. Okay. So just being the best, improving, self improving because just for yourself, impress yourself. Don't be afraid to explore outside of the realms of, you know, a mundane lifestyle. If you're single, ladies, do not be afraid to date yourself. I do it every week, okay? I love it. <laughs> being in a 15-plus year relationship for a very long time and always being around people, dealing with people constantly on a day-to-day -day basis it is so refreshing for me to go out by myself. I just did it this past weekend. Went to a really nice restaurant. Got treated like a queen. Oh, that's another thing. When you go by yourself, people treat you differently for whatever reason. I always get like the best treatment. I actually had a guy just kept coming. Oh, you want to try this? We have this. Because I was new to the restaurant. He would like to try this. Before you know it, I had a whole entire meal for the next day. Yeah. I treat myself. I treat myself... When you've been mistreated by other people in life and have had setbacks or whatever, you want to treat yourself well so you feel proud of being just you and you can enjoy the company of yourself. I enjoy going to have dinner by myself and then going to a movie afterwards, watching horror movies. I love that. I love it. I love it because I don't have to be bothered with anyone else. I love my quality time and everyone else around me they're muted. I don't even see these people. And I usually have like the best seat in the house wherever I go. So, which means I stand out. I don't care. You're probably sitting at the table with someone who was just out with someone else the night before. Mm. I don't have to deal with that. I'm secure enough within myself to go out by myself. So be free. Feel free to date yourself. Challenge yourself. Go on vacation alone. I just did that a few weeks ago. Went on a single vacation. Loved it. I love it. Oh, gosh, I'm telling you, once you fall in love with being by yourself and doing things alone, the company of others won't matter as much. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to be the best at being your best friend. If you're not good company for yourself, then you're, you're horrible at it for someone else. That's facts. All right. So ladies, um, I just wanted to share this video with you about being just more productive with yourself, trying to excel, not to impress anyone else, but to be the best for yourself. There's tons of competition out there, especially if you 
have just gotten out of a situation, you don't want that guy to leave you and then go to someone else like, oh, now this is, okay, I'm going from coach to first class. And you kind of don't want that. You want to try everything you can to be the best at it. Like whomever my, my, my last guy is with now, oh, I know they are catching hell because I made that competition fierce. Can you bake this from scratch and make it taste equally as, and he's a Gemini, so he's very particular. I know they are catching hell, but he's probably not even a relationship, but yeah, that's what you want. You want to be untouchable in many areas. You understand? It takes time. It takes a willing to do so. It takes effort and it also takes action. Yeah, it comes from within believing in yourself. And that is how you become a phenomenal woman. That is all for now, my loves. All of my information will be linked down below if you need further coaching. I thank you for joining me always. Until next time.